Hey, hey, I'm here tonight with a book review, kind of. It's been a while since I posted a video because I've been so busy with back to school stuff and I was looking through my videos and realized I've only ever done one actual book review that wasn't involved in a wrap up or whatever. So I wanted to go ahead and review the book that I am sort of currently reading, which is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Um, I picked this up originally because I heard about it here on YouTube. Somebody kind of compared it to Stolen by Lucy Christopher, and I love that book. Um, both of them deal with kind of um, an unorthodox relationship, one that you might not necessarily usually root for. So as soon as I heard that comparison, I wanted to pick it up because I love Stolen. This book is basically centered around two main teenagers who are 16 and 17, so still pretty young, and they basically become mom and dad to their three younger siblings because their mother is usually away either drunk or she's just basically living now with her boyfriend. So she's like not even in the picture. And these teenagers are raising their siblings. They're doing the laundry. They're cooking dinner. They're picking them up from school. They're dealing with you know, teacher parent conferences, they're picking them up if they're sick and they're constantly trying to hide the fact that their mom isn't there so that they won't be split up and sent to like foster care, which that alone was enough to make me just want to stop reading this book. It is so sad. I can't imagine as a teacher having any of my students living in this situation. Of course, all of these kids are going to have just issues and it does develop that the two main characters who are kind of in the mom and dad role fall in love with each other, even though they're brother and sister. And at first, I mean, you kind of feel sorry for them and you're, you're curious, like, how is this going to go down? And then they start to struggle with the fact that they're in love because they know they shouldn't be. And obviously it's illegal. Um, so they're battling with that. And just the emotion there is just gut-wrenching. I couldn't take it anymore. And that's basically why I decided to put it down because I found myself just being so overwhelmed with just sadness every time I picked up this book. And I thought, why am I doing this? This is crazy. Um, so I decided to kind of put it down and then I wanted to skim through it to see how it would wrap up. Like if there was a light at the end of the tunnel. And for me, the ending was not enough. I, I couldn't live with that ending. So I decided to put the book down. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that I think that's a testament to the author because, wow, to bring out that emotion in me, I think that's really impressive. But this book is just not for me. I found it horribly sad. And like I said, I couldn't put it down when I put the book down. I couldn't walk away from the feeling. So I wanted to definitely put that down just so that I could move on and be, you know, not depressed when I'm reading a book. But also, um, I, I, it just kept getting worse for me. Like every time I'd get more information about a character, I felt more sad for them because the little kids are starting to show signs of, you know, suffering because their mom isn't around. Um, the, the main boy character is starting to become really violent. He has like two physical altercations with two of his siblings and he's, he's yelling at people. And it's just, I mean, you kind of don't like him when he does that, but you also, from like an adult perspective, feel just even more sad for him because obviously he is so scarred from this life he's living. And like I said, the ending just wasn't going to work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down and move on to something a little bit more lighthearted. If you did like this book, though, I would love to hear what you did like about it to hopefully kind of end on a positive note with this book. And if you have any happy, fun, light reads that can kind of get me out of my book depression funk, I would be more than happy to take a look at your suggestions. So just leave them down below in the comments. So thanks for watching. Hopefully there'll be some new videos up soon. And I'm hoping to start doing more book reviews. So thanks for watching. Bye.